Namo Buddhaya, this is Nathina Kulecha and I welcome you to this channel. Uh, in this video, I am discussing the my learnings from the middle discourses one, uh, which is the root of all things. The link to the detailed discourses given in the description. Now, this is the first discourse in the middle discourses. So, you know, there the discourses are arranged like in Pali Canon, discourses are arranged like long discourses, middle discourses, link discourses, numerical discourses and so on. So, uh, in the long discourses also there is like something, uh, the first discourse was very heavy and in the middle discourses also this discourse which is MN1, uh, it is also very heavy. Um, but see, my intention is that to bring out our learning essence for people, lay people like you and me. So, what is in it for us, how we can implement it. So, uh, so this discourse actually in Buddha uh, basically is trying to say that Buddha is saying, Mendicants, I will teach you the explanation of the root of all things. Listen and apply your mind and I will speak. So Buddha says, take an unlearned ordinary person who has not seen the noble ones, who is neither skilled nor trained in the teaching of the noble ones. They have not seen true persons. They are neither skilled nor trained in the teachings of true persons. They perceive earth as earth. Having perceived earth as earth, they conceive it to be like earth. They conceive it in earth, they conceive it as earth, they conceive that earth is mine, they take pleasure in earth. Why is that? Because they haven't completely understood it, I see. Right? Now, similarly, Buddha says about water, fire, air, creatures, gods, everything. Right. So here, understand the deep message. What Buddha is trying to say is that a person who is not learned, who is like unlearned, who is not into the teachings, he perceives, when he sees something, he sees that thing as that thing, not as that thing. Basically, he sees that thing, he sees earth as earth, perceives. Perceives means something which is filtered by your thoughts and your memories and your concepts and your ideas. Right? And because of that perception, what happens is that they conceive the earth as mine, they take pleasure in the earth. Right? So Buddha's, see, Buddha's fundamental teaching was this, that uh, you have to start looking things deeply, right? Till the time we don't look things at things deeply, we do not know their impermanent suffering and non-self nature. This is the three marks of existence. Everything in this creation has three marks of existence. It is impermanent. That means it is changing, right? Second, it is non-self. That means it, is, it doesn't have a permanent self. Third, it is suffering, subject to suffering. There is suffering within in that. So, now give. Let's take the example of a, like a beautiful woman, right? You see a beautiful woman on the road, right? And you are a man, and seeing that woman, right? You know, creates you know things in you, right? Uh, that lust, the pleasure of watching that woman, right? All that thing. Now, why? Because we do not have the penetrative eyes, right? We, in the sense that we do not have the eyes to discern that this woman is also subject to impermanence, changing. She will also grow old. I am also growing old. This, this lust will be the cause of my suffering. This lust can make me do some misconduct, which can break my family, right? So, important is that what Buddha is trying to say here is that those who perceive, perceive a thing as that will never understand, right? So, Buddha said, so, Buddha said, towards the end, so this is a very long discourse that same thing that Buddha is saying again and again, again and again, same thing, it's a very, very long discourse. So, Buddha says, a mendicant directly knows the earth as earth. A mendicant means someone who is practicing, someone who is under, in the teachings of the Buddha. Directly knows earth as earth. Having directly known earth as earth, let him, let them not conceive it to be earth. Let them not conceive it in earth. Let them not conceive it as earth. Let them not con conceive that earth is mine. Let them not take pleasure in earth. Right? So, the important essential thing is that when we look at things as they really are, then automatically we will refrain from seeking pleasure, cravings, aversion towards that particular thing. Till the time we, we you know, see in an unskillful way, 
till that time all these things happen you know that lust anger that's where the mindfulness comes right that's where our practice of mindfulness comes where when we practice we are like our sense doors are guarded that means an object which we see outside doesn't doesn't allow the seeds of blame anger hatred aversion to rise up so whatever we do in our life we have to be mindful now how to see clearly the how to see clearly what we have to do is to follow the noble eightfold path and in that noble eightfold path one of the paths is right concentration and within right concentration comes vipassana right vipassana is a special way of seeing right it's like i have this specks and i just tilt this specks in a different way right in a different so i will see a different reality so what basically we have to do friends is that we have to change the reality change the reality through the lens that we are looking at right we have to totally let go of this lens totally let go of all the filters and concepts this whole lens that i am wearing of our my own thoughts kind of concepts ideas it is blocking me and it is creating the aversion and you know and that create craving and aversion is the root especially the ignorance of the impermanent nature of things is the root of all the suffering that is there in my life right so what we have to do is we have to practice our meditation our especially the, in, the insight meditation which is the meditation that is the earliest meditation taught by the buddha vipassana meditation so see the things as they are arising in your meditation as well as in daily life and the more our kind of uh, in, you know insight becomes strong our practice becomes strong in day to day basis also <coughs> we will be able to uh, we will be able to actually notice that the impermanence right in ourselves in other people right so then that will ultimately make us free that will ultimately free us from this concept of a permanent self the concept that you know this can give me pleasure this that can give me pleasure there is no pleasure there is only suffering right so we will be free from all these notions and concepts so this is it this is middle discourse is one root of all things now this discourse is actually um, there are even commentaries books and all on this discourse <coughs> my intention is not to complicate things all the videos that i am making is uh, keeping it simple real you know relatable to people you and me right so um, uh, please apologize. i apologize if it's not very theoretical or something like that uh, main essence we have to pick of the sutras the link to the sutra is there given in the description you also read your sutra the sutra and you will get your own insights do please share your thoughts reflections uh, and your understanding of this sutra in the comments section right and uh, i will be very happy to listen hear that and uh, thank you so much there is a complete list of there is a complete playlist of the middle discourses that will be available so you can just go on that playlist for middle discourses and you'll find all the my individual videos small small videos on the middle discourses so i hope you will find my work good and do share your feedback um, i look forward to your feedback thank you so much for watching this video namo buddhaye namo buddhaye